guys, it's Pope, and welcome to this week's vlog. Today I'm gonna be talking all about mobility and activation drills. And I've done some warm-up mobility videos before, like I've got a full squat warm-up that I will link here if you wanna check that out too. But today I'm gonna to focus more on the activation side of things, and this is gonna be a great video if you have like a trouble area um, some examples would be if your ankles are really tight and you want to get them moving really well or say you're dealing with maybe some quad tendonitis and your quads aren't firing correctly so that quad tendon is getting a lot of the pressure while you're lifting. Stuff like that, this video is going to be super helpful for you guys. First things first, today's video is sponsored by Gainsbox. And if you haven't heard of Gainsbox, it is a monthly fitness subscription box and it's always filled with awesome goodies like snacks, apparel, uh, things like thumb tape. There's all kind of cool stuff in them every month and the value is worth double the amount that you pay for the subscription box. And it's always like random, it's not the same things over and over and it's always curated by your favorite athletes. So like Brooke Ants, people like that have done them before, really cool, so it's all their favorite items. And this month's for December is by Noah Olson. If you don't know who Noah Olson is, you might be living under a rock, but <laughs> he is a CrossFit Games competitor that's super good. And his saying is happy but hungry. So that's kind of the theme of this month's box, which is cute. So let's check it out and see what's in this box. All right, first thing I'm seeing is these goodies. Beef sticks by Country Archer. Beef sticks, like jerky. Some more snacks, we have some nut butter here, two packets of that. This bracelet by RPM, there is a challenge that's starting with them that you can sign up for. We have thumb tape that says happy but hungry. Cute color, y'all know I like that color. There's also a journal, which there's a note from Noah in the front of it. And this is a really cool daily intention journal. So if you're into journaling, this has some prompts. Looks awesome. Also, a happy but hungry tank top. I'm going to put a link in my description that will give you 40% off of your first gains box. And it's a few days before Christmas. If you have anyone on your last minute list you don't have a gift for, give them a subscription box. Now I'm going to dive into those mobility and activation drills and I'm going to start off with ankles. To start out, I'm gonna show you guys two of my favorite ankle like stretching exercises. And uh, just to preface this section of the video, I have had five ankle surgeries, all injuries resulting from my gymnastics career. Most of them were overuse stuff. And uh, three out of the five were just getting my ankles scoped because scar tissue had built up from impactful landings in gymnastics, which is really common. So my ankles are very tight, and if anyone knows how to loosen them up, it is me because I've had to work really hard on that in my weightlifting career. My absolute favorite, which I've featured in some other videos before, is a stretch where you basically just use your body weight to lean into that, like a single leg squat while you're kneeling on the ground, and put your chest on your leg and really put your weight into it. And you might have to rock back and forth a few times, but you're really just trying to get uh, some time under tension with that joint and eventually it will loosen up if you stay in it for like a solid minute, minute and a half before you switch to the other side. Using the body weight against your thigh and your knee, trying to push that knee forward is similar to if you've seen other people stretch their ankles with a barbell on their knees. And uh, I do that exercise sometimes but I find this one one at a time a bit more effective. You can do this with some band distraction but I think it isn't that big of a benefit to add the band into the mix. But if you do use the band, you place one of the thick resistance bands right into the crease of the joint and do the same movement as if you did it without a band. The other stretch I highly recommend if you have tight ankles is to invest in a voodoo band. And there are several different companies that make them now, but basically it's just a long piece of rubber, stretchy rubber and you're going to wrap it all the way across your joint while your foot is straight, not in dorsiflexion. And you're gonna wrap it pretty tight and then just walk around with it. 
and it's gonna feel really uncomfortable, but what it's gonna do is unglue those tissues that are stuck together, and this works really well for my ankles. And so I like to, when I have a long time to warm up or just work on my ankle mobility, to walk around with these and also do some air squats with them on, and you do one foot at a time. My favorite active mobility exercise, putting some load on the joint, is actually a triple flexion exercise. So that's trying to get your ankles, knees, and hips moving all at the same time. You do it with a kettlebell or any kind of weight held at your chest, and you just do air squats, but you're trying to use that triple flexion all in unison. So you don't wanna break at the knees, and then your ankles, and then your hips, or you don't wanna break at your hips, and then your knees, and then your ankles. You're trying to do everything at once, and that is going to set yourself up for the best squat mechanics in your workout. So like I said, you hold the weight at your chest, and we're just doing nice, slow and controlled air squats. And I usually just do like 10 or 15 at a time, two or three sets, and by the time I get to the second set, I usually can notice a substantial change in my ankles just from working on everything tracking together in unison. The next area of focus is going to be on the knees. If you're having knee pain, more often than not, it is coming from tight quads. So I'm gonna really focus on things for loosening up those quads. My all-time favorite stretch for both the quad and hip flexor is a couch stretch, which is where you put your knee up against the wall and tuck that back leg flush against the back wall and then step the front foot out into a lunge. And you can do this while leaning forward, which is going to put more emphasis on the hip flexor, or you can do it by sitting all the way up and then you're gonna really feel that in your quad and you wanna make sure to hold these for a solid minute and a half or two minutes to really get that change going. Another quad stretch that I really like is actually laying down and then tucking one leg behind you and kind of rolling to the opposite direction. This will really get that quad nice and loose and I like being able to focus on one leg at a time just like in the couch stretch. This is like a single leg saddle stretch. And then lastly, I also like to really dig into my own quad around the knee and make sure and loosen up those tissues. And it's as simple as it sounds, just using your thumbs to like dig in around the quad tendon and make sure that those tissues are not stuck together. You can also use the voodoo band on your knees. It's not quite as effective as ankles. So sometimes I like to just use that manual manipulation of the tissue as part of my warm up. And if you have like a warming cream, that's great too. My favorite quad activation exercise is basically a lunge, but with both feet elevated on either side. So you can go a bit past the full range of motion. So to perform these lunges, basically, I like to hold a light weight in each hand and you're gonna have one foot on each plate you have set up to elevate. And then you're going to do just nice, slow and controlled lunge, knee straight down and then do little pulses at the bottom. And if you're doing it correctly, you will really feel your quad burning pretty quickly. And do like sets of 10 and then switch legs, maybe two rounds on each leg. That's gonna really get into the quad tendon and get it warm. Because a lot of the time I find when my quad tendonitis is flared up, uh, having a cold knee is like the worst thing ever. So getting all of those muscles to fire correctly that like tie into where your quad tendon is really helps alleviate some of that pain. Sometimes just getting things activating like really well will keep the tendonitis at bay, at least manageable to where you can continue lifting. Another exercise I really like that warms up the VMO, which is on the inside of your leg, one of your quad muscles, is doing a backward step up. And I like to hold a plate in the opposite hand of the leg I'm working on and you stand on like a plate or the edge of the squat rack and just step up backwards. Sometimes I like to actually tap on my VMO in between reps and it kind of wakes up the muscle like, hey, I need to be doing my job here and it really is effective to do that. Last but not least, we have the hips. My favorite way to stretch out the hips, in particular the glute medius, which is what gives people the most trouble, it's the most common thing that is tight on lifters is any form of a pigeon stretch. You can do the pigeon on the floor, which is basically a yoga stretch. Pick one leg and put it in front, 
and then tuck it inward to the side so your outside of your ankle is laying on the floor and the outside of your knee. And you wanna to try to work on keeping those hips super square in any variation of the pigeon. So you wanna be headlights forward, hip bones straight forward, then work on pushing all the way down. If you can't perform a full pigeon because you're too tight, you can also do a standing pigeon. And I really like these just to get a little bit of dynamic movement while you're doing the stretch too. You can kind of get into the corners of your hips a bit better in the standing version. And if that's still too much, you can do a lying figure four, which is where you lay on your back and cross one leg over the other and then reach through the triangle you've created with your legs and pull that opposite leg closer to your body. And you can also do a twist with these. There's a lot of different things you can do with the pigeon stretch to really loosen up that outer glute side of your hip. Tight glutes or glutes that don't fire correctly cause all kind of problems and injuries when it comes to doing lifting. So we always wanna be working on keeping the hips loose and activated. The most common activation you can do is obviously monster walks. You've probably seen those before where you put the band around your knees, walk forward and backwards, sidewards. You can do uh, air squats with the band around your knees. Those are all great exercises. Some that are not as common, you might not have seen, is a Z sit where you rotate from one side to the other. I find that that really loosens up my hip joints before I'm doing some squatting. The other exercise that I find really beneficial to get those outer booty cheeks turned on is to go against the wall, put the band around your knees, just like you would do the monster walks, but you're gonna put your feet flush against the wall and have like a 90-90 at your hips and knees. You're going to dig your heels down and lift your booty up off the floor and roll your hips under and engage those lower abs. And just hold it for about 10 seconds and then relax for about 10 seconds and repeat that maybe five sets and that's gonna really turn on the butt cheeks. Another activation exercise in a similar position against the wall is laying on your side and you're going to shift your top hip forward and then drive that knee out, activate that glute med, make it fire, make it burn for about three seconds, bring it back down, bring the hip back to neutral, and then repeat it. Hip forward, knee out, hold, and then back to neutral. And you can repeat that about eight or 10 times, and these are super challenging. They will make your butt burn really fast. So start low and then work your way up. But these are a great hip activation exercise before you do squatting, or if you're just working on building up these glute meads to protect your joints because a lot of our power comes from the butt and we need to keep it nice and healthy and always firing correctly. I hope you guys found these stretches and exercises helpful. Maybe you saw some things that you haven't tried before and can go incorporate into your routine. If you did, please let me know in the comments and tell me which exercise that you are finding the most beneficial. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.